So the first one is uh, very, you know, let's say, simple. <laughs> uh, you use your own saliva <laughs> or the saliva of your neighbor <laughs> uh, to, to chew uh, uh, a cooked starch. That's very important to, 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 to cook the starch before. Uh, as I explained be, uh, uh, on, on the previous slide, uh, raw starch can be cooked to uh, to free the starchy granule. Okay. So you 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 cook you chew uh, the, the starch. Uh, for which reason? Just to insalivate the starch. And then uh, have every human people, but also uh, many mammalian uh, uh, being, uh, have in, the, in their own saliva, they are a, a very strong uh, amylase, which is called tialine. And uh, this tialine is able, it's just an, an enzyme, uh, it, it's able to quickly convert the starch into sugar, <laughs> okay. fermentable sugar. So, as the diagram showed, uh, you cook. You first cook uh, the, the the starch, uh, whatever the, the the source of starch. It can be uh, starch from grain, but starch also from uh, uh, roots, from uh, fruits. And so on and so on. Uh, you let it uh, cool down. You chew the starch. Just <clears throat> that's very important. You don't have to 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 chew uh, all the starch. Only maybe 10, 10 or uh, fifteen percent of the starch, not not more. Okay. Then you spit it out uh, in the uh, in the main uh, the main. Uh, uh, portion of starch, uh, and it's uh, uh, the, the the saccharification of the starch occur occurs very very quickly because the tialine is a very powerful uh, uh, enzyme. Okay, and Th thanks to this uh, tialine. Uh, human people are uh, able to eat and digest the starch. <laughs> That's uh, uh, the result of a long uh, uh, biological evolution. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. <laughs> it's completely natural. And uh, what I want to, to, to say, j j just a, a little comment. Uh, people say that it, it, it's a dig disgusting uh, way of brewing beer, but it's, it's not the case. Uh, I explain why. Like here, this is the saccharification of starch, and then the fermentation uh, takes place when the fermentable uh, sugar are available. And during the fermentation, uh, Every let's say uh, uh, bad microorganism are killed, completely killed, because uh, the fermentation uh, uh, produces uh, 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 alcohol. So alcohol kill the uh, non unwanted uh, microorganism, and so uh, you produce uh, a safe beer. Okay, <laughs> that's a that's a main point. <laughs> this brewing method is is very well documented. Uh, it's used in uh, South America. Uh, it's made of maize, cassava, quinoa. Quinoa it's a kind of uh, uh, gramine. Gramine, it's uh, uh, people know what it's quinoa. Uh, yeah. I guess sweet potatoes and so on. Okay. And it also used. Uh, it has been used, and it's still. It, 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 no, it's still used uh, in uh, some uh, 
indigenous people of Taiwan, living in Taiwan, are also in uh, Hokkaido Sakhalin. It's, uh, it's uh, an island uh, north to Japan. Okay. And they, they still do it to this day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. For example, if you go to, if you travel to, to the uh, Guyana, uh, Guyanas, that's uh, uh, li little countries north of uh, Brazil. You have the French Guyana, Guyana uh, but also Suriname and the British Guyana. And there, in, in those countries, uh, Amerindian people uh, are used to, to, to brew that kind of beer. It's okay. called a Kashiri, for example, in French Guyana. <laughs> And um, yeah, we've actually got a question. I'll interrupt there. I'll just show it up. Um, so I know you're, you're talking about the pathways here, but in neither Taiwan or in Guyana, do they do they add herbs to this, or like as as their traditional thing? Do they add anything, or do they just drink it as a fermented as it comes out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they use uh, some uh, local herbs to, but they. These uh, herbs are mainly used to to as aromatics, okay. Not as a fermenting agent, uh, and of course not as a, a saccharific, saccharifying agent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, sa sa uh, Tialin is, is uh, stronger enough to to sacrifice uh, a, a big uh, a big amount of starch. Okay, um, I, I had a, very, a very powerful uh, yeah. Uh, compound. <laughs> yeah, because that that's where I I mean you mentioned you know people treat it think it's disgusting and that my first that would be my first thing too. But I think I always thought that you had to chew the whole lot. Okay. <laughs> um, when you're doing five percent, it suddenly sounds a lot more respectable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah. So the chewing, like you, you're chewing, does that activate this, the the enzymes, or could you just kind of spit into the the cooked starch without chewing? The, what, what does the chewing bring to it? Does, uh, does it so you're taking your starch and you're chewing it, which is giving it the saliva. Yeah. But do you need, what does the chewing actually activate? Like, could you just go and spit into the big pot a lot of time? Would that work? Or do you, does chewing actually do something? So let me try and rephrase yeah. this. If mm -hmm. I had a big pot of cooked starch, and then they, they chew some and they spit it back in. And that mm -hmm. just saliva. If instead I, I spent a day spitting into a jug and I just had a jug of saliva and I poured mm -hmm. that in instead of chewing, th would that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chewing is just kind of yeah. less disgusting looking. <laughs> okay. Mm, no. Okay. And does anybody, all of these are done in one pot no one boils none of these cultures boil the the beer afterwards or separate out the the sugars to be fermented separately do they yeah yeah they, they uh huh. it's, it's it's a quite complex question uh, uh, uh for example uh even am among these uh uh a meridian living in, uh, in uh, Guyana, and the brewing method has uh, evolved. Now they they use a different method because they they are they are being convinced by uh, let's say uh, a nutritionist or uh, people involved in uh, in uh, development uh, project to avoid. This brewing method as okay. a disgusting method <laughs> and not an uh, unsanitary uh, method. That's wrong, but uh, yeah, uh, they 
they sometimes uh, get money to to do this uh, for, to to okay. change that method. So they they use another method. Uh, this mainly the 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 method number six. They use a sour medium to to brew uh, beer from cassava. Okay. Okay. So this is really you know, very good to, to show the the starch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it remains because uh, it's also considered as a traditional way to brew beer, and uh, it's a cultural uh, feature. <laughs> okay. And traditional. Yeah. Yeah, but that's but what it, it, it's made. It's made in the jungle. <laughs> it's uh, uh, out of the ear uh, of the eyes of uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, Western people, <laughs> and they they brew and uh, drink the, their beer uh, uh, between them. <laughs> um. So just one question before we move on to that. So again, I know this is kind of outside of the pathway but when they brew it how long does this beer do they drink it straight away i presume there's no kind of storing or anything they brew they drink they brew again yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. here the, the the alcoholic uh of course it's, there's no pasteurization there's no so uh you you have to 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 drink the beer uh let's say uh no more than uh, one or two days after the okay. the brewing <laughs> Okay. After okay. it becomes uh, completely uh, acetic, sour, completely oh. sour. Okay, so the yeah, the so it's mm -hmm. only uh, a, a way to brew uh, fresh beer. <laughs> okay, and this would be of course, there's no fridge, there's <laughs> no uh, chemical add to 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 keep the beer and and so on. <laughs> and this would be, I, I guess, would have been done everywhere in the world at some point. That there's probably no reason to think any that anybody didn't brew this way. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's that's a, a, an historical question. Yeah, I'm just uh, thinking like, because some yeah. of the other ways that we'll be coming to are kind of more specific, whereas this seems like it's everybody could have done it at some point. Uh, you, you you mean that uh, people who, who, who use its brewing metal uh, maybe have another choice to 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 uh, another uh, an, an alternative brewing yeah. metal? Yeah, that uh, they might. Oh, like, yeah. This would have been one of the probably original brewing methods that every culture in the world used. Ah, I'm not sure. Uh, oh. Yeah. It, it, uh, yeah, anthropologists say that uh, the the chewing brewing method is very archaic, and it it could be a, a, a it should be a very uh, a primitive method to brew. But uh, I'm not sure that uh, it's really true. Okay. Uh, yeah, they 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 have uh, imagined that. Uh, uh, people in the, in the cave during uh, before the Neo Neolithic period uh, used to 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 brew their beer their beer with uh, 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 with that method. Uh, uh, it's a quite it's a quite complex uh, uh, topic. Okay. Uh, this yeah, how to explain that. Uh, we are so uh, accustomed to, to to the, for example, to to brewing method using malt that uh, we think that other methods are uh, simpler or more uh, primitive. But that's not true. Uh, the the the. We will see. We will see that with with uh, the, the amyl amyloidic uh, okay. starter. Okay, maybe we move all, on. All, all this brewing. Uh, uh, what, what I want to say: all this brewing method uh, are uh, uh, quite complicated to 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 uh, 
uh, to realize to uh, this this brewing method with saliva uh, seems to be simple or archaic but it's not uh, you have uh, to take care to each step carefully uh, chew the the starch and so on and so on it seems simpler but it's not really okay okay, okay. so uh, this this brewing method with saliva is not uh, as archaic as uh, people believe. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that, 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 that's that, that's my question answered. So. Yeah. Um, okay. So so what? It, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, this question remain uh, remains open. We right. don't we don't have enough. Uh, let's say archaic or uh, archaic. Uh, 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 data from uh, archaeology to 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 answer it. Okay. 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 So I'm. Um, yeah, I think that's all the questions on on method one. So let's try. Yeah, number two. 